President Akufado during his presentation of the State of the Nation address that the NPP government has built more roads than any other government has been met with numerous reactions. This has compelled the Minister of Roads and Highways, Kwesia Mwakwata, to ask Parliament to constitute a bipartisan committee to investigate claims about which government built more roads during the Fourth Republic. Delivering an address titled The True State of the Nation Address at the University of Professional Studies, Accra, Mr. Esiru Nketia said the claim that this government has constructed over 11,000 kilometers of new roads is false and should be completely disregarded. The MPP has used all your money mainly for consumption. This is contrary to the president's claim that his government has used large amount of the monies we borrowed on roads and construction. <laughs> the president knows he deliberately misled Ghanaians with this claim because he's aware that only a minute amount of the overall resource influence that has accrued to his government since 2017 has been used for the construction and rehabilitation of roads in this country. The truth is that only an abysmal 1.6% of the total resource envelope of 820 billion Ghana cities has been spent on roads by this government. Official government of Ghana records show that a whopping 93% of the 820 billion Ghana cities has been spent on consumption. Johnson Asiru Nketia added that the country's death stock has been ballooned under this government. Incontrovertible facts show that Ghana's economy showed signs of serious challenges even before COVID-19 struck. A point that was made by the country director of the World Bank, Mr. Pierre Laporte. For instance, way before the first case of COVID-19 was recorded in Ghana in March 2020, the public debt had increased from 120 billion in 2016 to 225 billion in 2019, representing an increase of 105 billion in the country's debt stock. COVID was nowhere. Ukraine and Russia had not even thought about fighting. Our debt to GDP ratio had increased from 56% in 2016 to about 70% in 2019. That is including the Esla, Dachi, and other hidden debts. The NDC further asked the Electoral Commission, EC, to reverse plans of using the Ghana card as a sole document for the registration of voters. Johnson is here doing says the president's state of the nation address was full of untruths. This is why we in NDC maintain that the Electoral Commission must abandon its intransigence and listen to wise counsel in order to save Ghana's democracy. Why would the EC insist on making the Ghana card the sole document for registration of voters when the National Identity Registration Law allows for the guarantor system as an identification mechanism? Why? In the interest of our democracy and development, the Jim Manson led EC should for once agree with the opposition NDC, civil society organizations, and other well-meaning Ghanaians, including the venerable Dr. Kojo Afarijan, Ghana's longest-serving former chairman of the Electoral Commission and foremost authority on electoral issues, who insists that the guarantor system must be maintained in our electoral system. During this crisis, nothing the president says can be believed because everything he has said has proven to be untrue. Ghanaians have come to realize that the claim by the president that he knew how to revive a dead economy was a scam. 
quote, we are a proud nation. We are not going to IMF. What's a scam? There will be no haircuts. What's a scam? The promise to build 88 district hospitals within a year. Agenda 111. The promise to abolish road tolls. The promise to convert toll booths into modern, ultra modern public toilets on our highways. The claim that there was a global shortage of childhood vaccines was a scam. According to the National Democratic Congress, what President Tekufado presented on the floor of Parliament as the State of the Nation address did not represent the true state of the nation. Reporting for City News, my name is Philip Nee Latte.